difficult to tell that they're there because everything is so tiny. And you know what? Let's just let's just activate that thing. Ancient Wisp. This is the guy I fought last time. He was actually kind of a chump. I, so last time I yeah played this, I actually did manage to beat this guy on my last run, but I got killed. And I don't think I mentioned it last. I don't think I explicitly mentioned it, but it was probably obvious by what was happening on screen. Um, after you, after the, so yeah, you basically have to survive for 90 seconds after hitting the teleporter. And then, even after you survive, you still have to kill all of the enemies in the level before it will let you progress. And that's how I died, uh, despite beating the boss last time I played this level. I killed the boss, but I got killed while trying to clear out the enemies, of which there were many. Okay, uh, this is a, whoa. Oh god, my item still isn't off. Or did I get a different use item? Okay. I'm actually on decent health now. I think I can go back and challenge the boss. Oh wow, so many enemies. This is nuts. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, let's just... Okay, looks like it's the same item. Guess I just must have triggered it earlier by accident without knowing. Noticing. Woo! Yeah, I like the... There's, like... seems to be... So, yeah, the... It's, it seems like the boss... The bosses that are, like, stuck on the ground are a lot easier than, like, the mobile ones. Like, that giant jellyfish thing... Like, that first stage boss I fought last time seemed, like, way harder than, in, than the other two bosses I've seen so far, because the other two... Did I actually... No, I didn't... Not, not even close to killing him. Okay... Whoa! Where did he go, anyways? Oh, th there he is. There he is. Coming to fuck my shit up. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought I was high on health, but I guess not high enough. Holy damn. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, damn. No, there we don't go. Go not. Okay. That'd be embarrassing to lose to this guy after... Spending all my, not so much time talking shit about how guys stuck on the ground ain't no thing to take care of. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, and I'm it's like getting slowed or something. I must have like slowing shots or something like that. Yeah, between that and my knockback. Yeah, this guy doesn't have a chance. Get wrecked, chump. Okay, but yeah, this is what. I, okay. Oh wow. Yeah, he he like exploded into those wisps, and that's that's what killed me last time. Can I go through? Okay, I think this'll do it. There we go. Yeah, I think that's what happened last time. He exploded into those wisps, and then they murdered me. Oh, nice! I increase his jump height, really. I couldn't... <laughs> I would not have noticed that unless you had told me. Move fast out of combat. Oh, hey, there's something. Yeah, I've been talking about how, like, you know, getting through the levels fast is a thing because of the difficulty increasing in the timer and all that, and yeah, now I can move fast. Would have been lovely to have had that honestly much much sooner, but before we got to very hard. Oh god, we're on stage two of like, what, six and I'm already on very hard. I guess that seems about right. We're like, what, I guess two-fifths or two-sixths or a third, if you will. Um, of the way through the game, and that's a, that's about how full we are on the difficulty meter. Or like what? Maybe just like what? One, two, three, four. Looks like four tenths or two fifths, because that's the way math works. So yeah, we're about right on track. I'm just assuming that there's ten kill remaining enemies. Oh god, still thirteen of these fucking things. My goodness. Well, might as well open the chests that are here. Ooh, prison shackle. Slow enemies on attack. Okay, so I didn't... I didn't have that already, right? Like, so... Maybe maybe I just have, like, some knockback. Or something that's... Wrecking these fools. Okay, come on, let's get this over with. There. Okay. I must... Ha I might have, like, a good weapon set up here, for all I know. I seems, it seems to be working reasonably well for me. So far... Yeah, this is, the, this is the easiest time I've actually had of this stage so far, and I'm on, like, the highest difficulty I've ever seen. Very hard. Never survived long enough to get to very hard before. 
quite pleased with the way this run is going. Hey, may maybe I'll get a new class out of this. That would be really sweet. I will be, like, so amped to play. Because I, I know how addictive these games get for some people, and honestly, I, I wish I wished I could get that way about The Binding of Isaac, but I just found it so dull. There was just... Yeah, I don't know, that game just didn't appeal to me. This one, though, uh, part of it is just that I prefer... In general, I just prefer, like, side-scrolling, run-and-gun type games to overhead run-and-gun type games. So... That's part of it, but also I think this is just a more done, a, a better, a more well done, like shooter shooter type game in general. In the first place, oh, I got, uh, I don't know what I've got, but it's making me glow. Oh, I've lost it. I don't know. And it's hard to tell if I'm taking damage. So one, one thing to note, or actually, so those of you who are familiar with the game uh, might notice that it's a uh, everything's a little bit smaller than you might be used to. Uh, the reason for that is uh, basically has to do with the way sprite scaling works in this game. Basically, if you play the game at a high enough resolution, you have the option to, like, scale all of the sprites to double their size. B basically, blow up the whole screen so that you can... Uh, b basically, yeah, basically, basically zooms in on the action, essentially, so that everything isn't quite so tiny. Uh, which... Uh, there, which is, there's something to be said for that. It makes it easier to sort of tell what's going on on screen. On the other hand, it kind of restricts your uh, field of view as well. Gives you sort of less to look at in terms of what's around you. So, oh my goodness. Whoa! You guys are just spawning like crazy. You know what? Yeah, I... Yeah, we're, we're on very hard, I guess. So that's... would explain that. But yeah, this is very hard. I don't want to see how much more difficult this gets. So let's try find ourselves an exit. Ooh, get some. What do we got? Another crowbar. Okay. Oh, it says crowbar times two. Oh, I guess... Oh, do they stack? That would be sweet. Okay. Let's find ourselves that exit. Ooh, get some health. Just what... Ooh, oh, that's a thing. What do we got? Y to switch. Ooh, interesting. Let's do it. Explorer's key. Unlock all chests and what? That sounds like garbage. Unlock all chests. I haven't seen any locked chests yet, or unless... Oh, I see. Unlock them without paying the cost, presumably. That's actually... That actually could be pretty... Neat. Yeah, let's... Let's, let's do that right now. Oh, yeah, and I've also got that item that, like, makes... Shoots off all the missiles when you open the chests. Oh, what is this? Let's find out. Well, what a jar of souls. Summon a ghost for every... Okay. I don't know what that said. You guys need to pick better fonts for your blue backgrounds. Or better font colors for your blue background stages. Whoa. Okay. Might be in a bit of trouble now. Ooh, that... I, re I recognize that. That's the double jump. I'll have that. Thank you. Yeah, double jump. Love me some double jump. Which I could, which I could have some way to get myself this item, like on every single playthrough. You just got, you just it, in a, any two D platformer worth worth its salt. You just gotta have a double jump. Fail a shine. Oh, that's like the opposite of that other one I got. Thanks a lot, assholes. It's like, haha, you didn't get shit three times in a row. Here's an achievement, dumbass. Oh, imp overlord. Oh, I'm at a boss. When did what? I didn't find the teleporter yet, did I? I guess bosses just appear. Out of nowhere, when you're on the difficult difficulty settings. Oh god, we're up to insane, and we've got, what, four? No. Yeah, four left to go. I'm, f I'm scared, guys. How much, where, how, where, what, where do we go beyond insane? Well, okay, so I, I'm still hitting <laughs> the wrong button sometimes. Which is, uh, not good. You really don't want to be dodging into enemies that you want to be knocking back instead. Whoa, spiders. Spiders on my dick. Get off my dick, please, spiders. Actually, let's try this out. What does this do? And it, spo it summons a bunch of enemies. Fantastic. Just what I wanted. <laughs> oh, goodness. Why would I, why would anyone want that? Okay, you know what? Oh, yeah, fuck everything about this. Let's get out of here. 
Although, with that said, I'm actually going to have to be coming back there later when I kill all the enemies. God, where is this goddamn teleporter? This level is massive. This is only stage three, too, isn't it? Or stage three as well. There, there we go. There's our teleporter. I am tempted to kill all these enemies, but I know that that'll probably never happen ever again. I will just never be able to outpace. How is this even? Holy shit. Okay, use it. Or no, that was the shit. Fuck, no, that was just the thing that summoned a bunch of extra enemies. Oh god, just survive. Survive for what? I can't do math. Why don't they count? Count down, damn it. I can't. 90 minus. Okay, so that's 60 seconds left. Oh my god. That is a big train. Big old train of monsters. Actually, my health doesn't seem to be doing too bad, though. Whoa! Although this, these bison or whatever they are keep teleporting on top of me or whatever. Are those projectiles shooting at me? Okay, those are definitely projectiles. But yeah, those things, whoa, those things along the ground. Whoa! Damn! Oh shit! Oh god, getting pummeled by bison. Okay, I think I've actually figured out what this item does. It makes like little phantom buddies. Like those, they're not enemies, they're like phantom buddies. There we go. Get away. Oh god, some Okay, good. Items. Nice. Okay, good. And we can just hang out, just chill out up here for a little bit. Try to get some Oh god, they're following me. Oh yeah, and yeah, open all open all these things to get ourselves some uh Yeah, some uh, missiles and stuff. In fact, yeah, we can get ourselves some money, open up that other chest, and then get even more missiles. That would be fantastic. Assuming we can survive long enough. Whoa! In fact, yeah, let's let's do this. There, get up here. Just pick them off. Just, you know, divide and conquer. Like a strategist or something. I wonder if that's a class in this strategist. That that sounds like a terrible class to be in, like, a hardcore shoot 'em up type game. It's like, fuck strategy. Just, just blow shit up. That's my strategy. It's the only strategy a commando needs, really. That, that's a, what, what's another? Yeah, that's a, that is true, isn't it? Yeah, commandos all about just blowing shit up. Okay, we got the money. Get ourselves some missiles with that money. Oh, hey, we're we've reached 650 health. We don't actually have 650 health, but the game says that we do. So, hooray! Goes to show. Oh, six herpaderp, 650 max health. I, I guess they mean. Okay, good. These guys can't touch us, and we're on impossible with three more difficulty settings to go. And the Imp Overlord, whatever that is, still re still quite healthy. Healthy, perhaps healthy, healthy enough to be beaten with a crowbar. Who knows? Oh wow, yeah, and I'm getting these missiles, shooting them down at Yetis through the floor. Okay. Yep, life is good right now. I feel I feel powerful. I'm feeling pretty awesome at the moment. If we could beat stage three on like what my third or fourth run? No, I guess this is this is yeah. This has got to be at least my fourth run through the game now, or my fourth attempt, I should say. I've not actually gone all the way through the game, obviously, just yet. Not even close. Okay. Look at that knockback. Oh, yeah. Such a badass. And we still got 24 to go. I still don't know what those dots are surrounding me. And I've pretty much just given up all pretense of, like, thoughtful, critical commentary at this point, I suppose. Which is appropriate. It's really hard to, you know, I guess it goes, I guess that's a form of, you know, critical commentary in itself. I am so... So engrossed in what I'm doing right now, I just can't even think of anything to say about, like... Th this game is pretty good. I'm surprised at how much I'm enjoying this. <laughs> like I said, I was rather skeptical. Games that... Like I was saying before, games... Like, especially indie games that, like, look bad, tend to play bad, too, I've found in my experience. It's just, like... I don't know what it is. I mean, I could speculate. I guess it... Uh, if I'd guess that it has kind of something to do with sort of how seriously... Some of these people tend to take their projects. Like, you can sort of determine, I think, 
the degree of just just how serious a developer is about like creating a quality product just by looking at like the degree to which they try to make a quality product in like every aspect they can it's like if somebody like say if you don't have like a good graphic person to work on your game with you then you'll just find one if you're that passionate about making your making your game as good as it can be it's like i, I can also sort of see how like yeah like in for example it's kind of hypocritical of me like i've worked on games before mind you those were just kind of student projects but even so or uh, how to put this I've had, like, I've, I've sort of thought in the past, like, hey, this I could do this whole indie game thing. I have some ideas for things, which I've never actually done, so I'm not a game developer or anything by any means. But just, like, I've, I've given it serious consideration, and if I did actually do, like, like develop my own indie game, the graphics would be shit. They would be, like, ten times worse than anything you're seeing here in Risk of Rain. So I'm just being, like, a total hypocrite every time I bust games for being like that. Yeah, just, you know, for not having great graphics and all that. But yeah, you know how it is. It's like, you know, some people, it's, there, there's a lot of... A, a lot of people with a lot of ideas for games out there. and a, With, a, you know, good heads for game design and all that. People who play a lot of games or passionate about games. But just don't, you know, don't have that uh, kind of... The kind of artistic ability. Or in, in terms of the, you know, the visual... the In the visual arts. To sort of make their games look awesome. And you sort of think like, oh, whatever, I can cut those guys a break. It's all about the gameplay, right? But I, I used to say that. I used to really say, I used to really think that. It's like, okay, I'm, I, I like, I'd be sympathetic to these little indie games because it's like, especially the crappy looking ones. It's like, okay, if I made something, it certainly wouldn't look any better than this. Let's give it a try. And most of the times I give it a try, really wanting to like it because it's like, hey, person after my own heart just went... Went to do their little indie game, didn't have much talent in the graphical department, but maybe they have other things to offer. And then, and basically, from experience, I find that the vast majority of the time, they don't. And that awful-looking games are usually just awful. Oh man, don't have enough money. But this game is an exception. That's sort of what I was all uh, leading up to with that. This game, I mean, honestly, I'm actually really surprised at the, how, how cool this has been so far. I, I'm... I could do without this whole, like, kill, like, all of the... Oh, oh, that... Oh, this dude. This dude was a boss. Oh, damn. Or, in fact, let's... Does he get a little clone? No, he doesn't. Okay, so I guess my Jar of Souls doesn't work on bosses. Whoa. I'm not actually taking any damage. Why am I not taking any damage? Oh, damn. Okay, there's some... Or, no, there's not some damage. What does that red... There was, like, some gray on my life bar, and there was some red on my life bar. And is that... Okay. I thought that was me dead for a second. Hey, I... Oh, I unlocked it there! That's a class, probably. And what is this thing that appeared here? Oh, is that my extra class? I guess that appeared because... I don't know, whatever. For some reason. And, oh, we're up to ICU difficulty. Fantastic. And we got barbed wire. But yeah, yeah, it's like this is like uh, like as far as like yeah, you like your 2D. Basically, this, this game is like kind of everything I want in a game. Like I love, I love, like I've don't get me, like I've bitched so much about Binding of Isaac, but I really liked the concept. Like I really like the idea of like an action rogue. Like it's like because I I really like roguelikes in general. Like just you know randomized levels and all that. And I've always wanted to see like a good game. Without that kind of, you know, permadeath, randomized levels, uh, sort of random item collection, so that every run is very different. So it's it's got that going for it. It's got class systems. I always love games with class systems. It's just like uh, games with where you have different character classes to play as, where it's... Uh, Gotta remember to move my mouse cursor out of the way all the time. Just 